Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. Hope you're doing well. Happy New Year to everybody. Hey, just wanted to uh, do a quick video today about the recent shootings in the uh, in a church in uh, Texas uh, this past weekend, and wanted to kind of put my views um, about this and uh, get some input from you guys and see what you you all think about um, Texas law regarding open carry in churches. So if you're not aware, last year the Texas uh, state legislature enacted uh, or legislated a, a new law on the books, basically allowing uh, churches to um, give the option for open carry to its parishioners. So you know, not all churches, I'm sure, do this, but um, if a church wants to, they can uh, allow open carry um, during services or, or you know, in general on the grounds. You know, as long as a person's license permitted, et cetera. Um, kind of like, you know, how how um, schools and other certain areas are gun-free zones. Well, now the churches in Texas don't have to be gun-free zones. And we all saw or have heard what happens when um, there are no gun-free zones and people are allowed, permitted, 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 gun owners are allowed to carry their weapons with them as a case on Sunday where the gunman came in with a shotgun, I believe, uh, unfortunately shot two people before um, he was shot and killed by uh, this permitted concealed carry um, person in that church. And that person just happened to be the, f the, the first person to stand up. There were multiple people in that church with firearms who, you know, got up and were ready to, to take action. But this person just happened uh, either to be closest or um, kind of the first person to draw and took care of business. So yet again, proving a good guy with a gun can take care of business. But if you're Beto O'Rourke, you don't see it that way. And you just see, you just see um, the horrific fact that two people were killed which is horrific, um, but you don't see the fact that it could have been a lot of war a lot worse than it was if those people weren't allowed to uh, bring their firearms with them. You know, I I, I can only preach this so many times. Um, we have our Second Amendment right to protect ourselves, our families, our property, um, our friends, our neighbors. We have that right. We get our gun. We have our permits. We are licensed. We have taken safety classes. We have now earned that right, paid our fees, mind you, to carry our weapons legally um, in whatever state you're in. This just happened to be in Texas. And, uh, you know, what I'm, I'm seeing as well is there was another shooting. Well, there was multiple shootings in Chicago, but there was another shooting in in Chicago, and I, I couldn't find much out about this, but there was another shooting in Chicago where another good person with a gun killed the um, attempted assailant. And I'm not sure if people were just wounded in the shooting or killed, but the person with the licensed um, person was able to take out the the gunman and, you know, alleviate any further um, death, wounding, and damage to, um, you know, the scene in Chicago. Uh, I wish more people, more politicians would see this. But what I think they see is, oh, my God, there's another shooting. Take away all the guns. No, it's the guns that are stopping the lunatics um, who are more than, you know, 80% of them obtain these guns illegally. They either took them from uh, relatives, uh, they bought them illegally from somebody on the black market, um, they stole it, whatever the case may be. Um, if somebody's gonna, if somebody wants to do harm to anybody, they're gonna do it any means possible. They don't follow laws, they don't take safety classes, they don't get permitted. Uh, these people were criminals to begin with. Uh, and there's no there's no legislation that's going to stop them. So I'm glad that Texas has enacted uh, that law last year allowing churches to 
um, give their per per parishioners the ability to bring their uh, weapons in if they are, you know, indeed uh, licensed to carry. And I mean, it works. It stopped. It stopped. It stopped multiple people from getting killed. I, f I forgot how many people were in this church. I think it was like over a couple hundred people. So, um, good guys with guns always get the job done. And, you know, whether it's law enforcement or just us regular folks out there with our concealed carry permits, um, they're not going to take it away. You, you know, the federal government can preach all they want or these liberals, Socialists can say, hey, we're going to take your guns. Well, you're not going to take my guns because we're not going to have a, a reenactment of every other socialist slash communist country in the world where the first thing that is done is, uh, you know, guns are confiscated. And then now there's no more control um, for the people. There's no recourse for the people to stop uh, an uprising, which is, you know, exactly uh, one of the reasons we have our Second Amendment is to, you know, A, defend ourselves, our families, and also to create uh, a militia should our government get uh, out of control so uh, and infringe on our rights. Hey, you know, that's all I really got today. I just wanted to, to put that video out. Again, Happy New Year, everybody. Do me do me a favor. If you like the content, hit, hit the uh, subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, please make sure that you still are subscribed. Um, I was noticing a couple days ago that I was at almost 570 subscribers, and now I'm back down to 564, which is kind of weird. Um, in a couple days that it you know, goes up, uh, you know, six subscribers, and bam, the next day drops down six subscribers. So something hokey is going on with the uh, algorithm. So if you are subscribed, please make sure you still are. Leave a comment below. Um, sometimes I'm noticing that, the comments, how uh, even how mundane they are, like wishing me a Merry Christmas, were blocked by YouTube um, as spam. So if I didn't respond to you, um, I apologize, but I just realized that a bunch of these comments were flagged as spam when you were just wishing me a Merry Christmas. So I apologize for that. Um, hey, always remember, stay on the right side and have a great rest of the day. Talk to you guys soon.